So what you can also do from Microsoft Clipchamp is export out uh, videos and upload it directly to cloud storage services or video sharing platforms. So to do that, you can see that I have a project and if I were to go around and click on export, you can choose the video quality over here. So I'm just going to select out 1080p and it exports out the video right here. So uh, if you want to go ahead and then directly save this into, let's say, for example, your Google Drive stores, then you can click on the bottom option right here. And now you can see that uh, it is connected to my YouTube uh, channel at gmail.com right here. So if you are signed in onto your account, then you, you can see uh, uh, the access to your account directly over here. But if you are not signed in, then you will be prompt, uh, prompted to connect. So over here, you can choose the destination as well. So if I were to click on select folder, you can see that I can select out a folder for where I want to save this file. So you can go around and click on select and then click on save and what happens is that uh, that file will be saved onto that Google Drive um, uh, space and then you can also go around and copy out the link right here for the Google Drive file. You can also go around and upload the video directly to YouTube and over here it says connect to YouTube right here. If I were to go around and click, then it opens up Microsoft Clipchamp right here as you can see. So you need to go around and select your account and you have to allow Clipchamp to manage YouTube videos and view your YouTube accounts. So I'm just going to go around and click on allow right here. And once I do that, what happens is that it says the site is trying to open up Clipchamp. So simply open that out right here and you can see over here that now you got access to your YouTube channel. You can go around and upload out your video. You can set the video privacy. You can select the category and even add in keywords according to how you want. So let's say I'm just going to go around and say example and no, this is not made for kids and upload. And what happens is that the processed video will be uploaded to your uh, linked YouTube account automatically. And you can also see uh, the YouTube video link right here. So you can go around over here and click to access it out as well, just like this. So this is what you have right here, or you can go around and access your Google Drive as well. So you do need to sign in, but you'll be, ha you'll be having access to that file directly just by using this link or by going onto a YouTube or Google Drive account from over here. You can also save it to OneDrive right here, as you can see, and you can see that, uh, uh, it is linking out right here. It's loading out. You can go around and select out your um, um, uh, your folder in OneDrive as well. So you can go around and save save it, select it, and click on send. And it'll be the video will be uploaded onto your OneDrive as well. Same thing with the Dropbox, and you can also share this out in LinkedIn and so forth. And that is how you can go around and upload out your video content that you made with Microsoft Clipchamp. Uh, directly to cloud storage services or video sharing platforms. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.